In this clip, we're going to show you how to do quad stretches. Your quads attach at the bottom of your knee and your patella is also right in there. Here I am bending her leg. I'm gonna keep her knee stabilized. The bottom of her leg is planted against my thigh. She is in a stretch with her quad and the psoas, AKA the hip flexor. I'm instructing her to push against my body 10%, 10% of her force as the first counter strain. Then we will continue to be able to go to the next stretch barrier with her quad, repeating the 10% rule, pushing 10%, 10% of her force and 10 seconds. You keep doing this until the heel touches the buttocks. This is a tough stretch for many. However, if you stay at it, this will be a great exercise for hip flexors and quads. If you do not have a partner to help stretch your quads, resistant bands are great. You can also use a towel or a pillowcase. We are draping it over the patient's foot. She's bringing her quad into a stretch. Same premise, she's going to push 10% of her force for 10 seconds. Go to the new stretch barrier. Again, 10%, 10 seconds. And then she can continue to further stretch. This is that method called strain counter strain. Wonderful stretch for the quads and the hip flexors. This is another variation of a quad stretch that I love to tell my athletes. Most of the time when you're out on the field or on the court, you just need a wall or a chair or a partner to use. The goal of this is a standing quad stretch. What you're going to do is you're going to make sure that that knee is not kicked out, but close to your body. She's grabbed her ankle, and now I'm going to instruct her to squeeze her glutes. That's the key. Now she's holding her ankle and she will be pushing against her hand 10%, 10 seconds, all while making sure her glutes are contracted. She will then go into the new stretch. And you can see this patient has wonderful quad lengthening because her heel touches her butt very easily. However, we're able to get more stretch by just bringing it more back into help her with her quads and her hip flexors. This is another modified quad stretch. This is a challenge to do if you have knee issues, so be sure to use padding underneath that knee. With this patient, we are telling her to go into the stretch with her leg against that bench, and she's pushing 10% for 10 seconds. Then she's going to the next barrier, 10%, 10 seconds, next barrier, and she's moving her body forward. 